WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. Three hours left to go in the trading day, and we have a positive market right now going on. S&P's up seven points, trading at 29.96. We get the Dow up 62 points, trading at 27,234. And you have the NASDAQ positive by 11, trading at 82.15. Gold contract pulling back a bit off $6 at 14.20. Notes and bonds, lower price and higher yield. The 10-year negative four ticks, 127. 15 30 or negative 16 ticks 154 14 dollar index with some strength up 440 ticks trading at 97 380 started off let's start off with the dow 30 and September contract, we're off of the lows we made about an hour ago when I was out in the air from the noon Eastern time update. We're sitting at about 27,201. Talk about a tight trading range, right? 17 points we've moved in the Dow in the last hour. S&P 500, pretty much the same story. Early this day, early today, we're down there at 3,000. You dip to about 29.92. We're back in the middle of that range, trading at 29.95. NASDAQ 100 with a little bit more volatility from 79.60 down to 79.20. We're up a bit from there, trading 79.31. Crude oil hovering right around $56 for most of the trading day, currently trading at 56.08. There's your gold contract backing off a bit into the lows that we made overnight. That low overnight, 14.14.75. We've backed off from about 14.30 at 10 a.m. this morning, now to 14.21. And the euro U.S. dollar continuing to slide as we get some dollar strength. You have the euro trading 111.50. In terms of what else you have happening out there, how about Bitcoin hovering under 10,000 as you have Bitcoin trading at 99.94 and jumping over to rates, the 10 year right now sitting at 2.06. Of course, we have a Fed meeting coming next Tuesday, a week from today it begins. We'll get a decision. It's all but assured. The market thinks at least that a cut is on its way. Market right now, 10 year trading at 2.06%. Stay tuned, folks. We got a man, Steve Rhodes, coming up live right now. Then, of course, Dave White at 2 o'clock, excuse me, 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And Tom O'Brien wraps it up live from 3 till 5. It's earnings. We got a bunch of good earnings after the bell. And to finish this up, earnings we already know, there's Coca Cola charging higher, up 5.7%. And Harley Davidson with a little bit of a turnaround as well. Open negative, now up 4% for Hog Harley Davidson. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. Have a great Tuesday.